Tonight's program is brought to you in part by Target, committed to making meaningful contributions in local communities to help them grow and thrive. From the historic Warner Theater in Washington, D.C., this is the 30th annual Hispanic Heritage Awards. Tonight, the Hispanic Heritage Awards celebrates international pop sensation Luis Fonsi, Golden Globe winning actor Gael Garcia Bernal, the Latin Recording Academy of Arts and Sciences, business leader Rudy Becerra, NASCAR engineer Alba Colon, and the Dreamers with performances and special appearances by Dolores Huerta, Veronica Falcón, WWE superstar Callisto, Anand Girdadas, Llewellyn Sanchez Warner, Gabby Moreno, Buica, Rosal Colon, Karina Ortiz, Locos por Juana, J.W. Cortez, Jackie Hernandez, and Enrique Santos. Tonight's ceremony is hosted by Alicia Sanz and Frankie J. Alvarez. Welcome to the 30th Annual Hispanic Heritage Awards. 
It's an honor for us to be with you tonight. ¿Verdad, Frankie? Sí, Alicia. <laughs> celebrating the incredible contributions of Hispanics across the world here in our nation's capital. Now, before we begin, mi gente, let's take a minute to recognize the incredible rendition of our national anthem performed by the greatest head of hair I've ever seen, 20-year-old <laughs> Llewellyn Sanchez Warner, already one of the most celebrated artists of our time. For 30 years, the Hispanic Heritage Foundation has recognized the undeniable influence of Hispanics working in a wide range of fields, from health to the arts to science and leadership. Each of our honorees possesses distinct talents that have led them to the top of the respected fields and have changed the life of countless Hispanics across the globe. We celebrate the very best, the ones who dare to dream bigger, challenge the status quo, and pave the way for Hispanics, young and old, to succeed. So let's get started. <laughs> Our first honoree this evening shares the foundation's mission of celebrating those who have aided in the success of Hispanics across the globe. Not only by hosting one of the most celebrated nights in the world, but by supporting, igniting, and sustaining the cultural heartbeat of Latin America, its music. Since its commencement in 1997, the Latin Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences has dedicated itself to improving the cultural impact of Latin music across the globe and transforms the music industry with its celebration of Spanish and Portuguese speaking recording artists, musicians, songwriters, producers, and technical recording professionals. The Academy's impactful programs reach across Latin America and the United States, aiding Hispanics from Los Angeles to Buenos Aires by promoting awareness and appreciation of the significant contributions of Latin artists to an international audience through its cultural foundation, as well as by providing scholarships and grants to students and organizations who protect and preserve the legacy of Latin music and heritage. With advances in interactive satellite technology, the Academy's E-Latin Grammy Carreras y Musica events educate students about the recording industry through conversations with recording artists and other members of the music industry. But there is no greater commemoration of Latin music than the Academy's annual event, the Latin Grammy Awards. The Latin Grammys were the first prime-time English, Spanish, and Portuguese language telecast in U.S. television history and continue to be broadcast across the world in over 100 international markets for audiences of all ethnicities to celebrate. Through the Latin Grammys, the Latin Recording Academy has honored hundreds of music professionals with the industry's highest honor ensuring that Latin music and its contributors remain prominent and vibrant in the cultural fabric of the world. To present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Arts Award, please welcome stars from the hit series Orange is the New Black and Gotham, Rosal Colon and D.W. Cortez. Over the last 20 years, the Latin Recording Academy has proven itself to be a pioneer in the music industry, inspiring countless Hispanic musicians and recording professionals to expand their creativity and design the Latin music soundscape of tomorrow. The Academy believes in something much greater than topping the music charts. It is an organization that ensures Latin music remains supported and relevant. With us here this evening to accept this award is the Academy's president and CEO, Gabriel Avaroa, Jr. It is with great honor for us to present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Arts Award to the Latin Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. Eighteen years ago, the Latin Recording Academy launched the Latin Grammy Awards to showcase the extraordinary work of Latin music makers in the U.S. and around the world. Today, they are the premier showcase for the diversity, relevance, and excellence of Latin music. In addition to its worldwide cultural impact, Latin music is a source of enormous pride here in this country, in the U.S., especially now, as events threaten to affect the lives of all of us who believe in freedom, justice, 
equality and the pursuit of happiness. Best known for her eclectic sound of Latin jazz, soul, and funk, please welcome Grammy-nominated vocalist Buica. la recuerdan yo no me escondo simplemente ya no atiendo a lo que no me alimenta y aunque el tiempo y la gloria tras mucho trabajar me hayan traído cosas muy bellas alguna que otra noche a un sueño con ella Ella me dijo volveré y un segundo después la desterré al olvido. No, no, fue un castigo, simplemente no debo volver a donde no me han querido. Y aunque su amor traicionero me hiciera perder la razón y el mío fuera un queriendo a medias, hoy cierro los ojos y sueño con él. Yo sueño con ella y yo sueño con ella. Hay un gato marrón, caracolas de mar, bajo la luna lunera. En el aire hay amor y todo tiene el color de la rosa tempranera. Llovió una semana entera en el calor de esta noche a un sueño con él, con él, con él, con ella, con ella. Fue un invierno dibujado de calor y al verano llegó el frío. Fue también tu miedo a dejarte querer y conocer. Fue tremenda lucha. El estar contigo Fue también tu miedo A dejarte querer y conocer Fue tremenda lucha El estar contigo Y si no fuera Porque tatuado tu nombre en mi piel Yo pensaría que fuiste un sueño Será imposible No echarte de menos A ti y a mí y yo sueño contigo, muñequita linda, contigo y conmigo. Tú estás bailando bajo el sol y tu pelo de nube viene a rozarme el ombligo. Hay dos ángeles de amor dibujando veleros que cruzan mares prohibidos. Contigo, 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 contigo Y el sueño con ella Y yo sueño con ella Y yo sueño con ella Y yo sueño con ella Ay, yo sueño con ella Our next honoree is lauded as one of Latin America's most talented and inspirational actors and filmmakers. Yes. In the heart of this outstanding artist is a man who believes in the power of open dialogue between all Latinos, 
an exchange of perspectives and ideas that will define our future and change the world. Let's take a look into the life of one incredible visionary. From a young age, Gael Garcia Bernal led a life destined for artistic excellence. As one of Mexico's most iconic filmmakers, Bernal has played an important role in Latin America's long-awaited cinematic renaissance, receiving universal acclaim for his work as an actor, director, and producer. Using his international success in films and television series like The Motorcycle Diaries, Babel, Y Tu Mama Tambien, and Mozart in the Jungle, Bernal has been an instrumental ambassador for Latin America's rising prominence in the film industry, aiming not only to preserve funding for filmmaking, but also to expand access to international films for thousands of Latinos. In 2005, alongside fellow Hispanic Heritage Award honoree and lifelong friend Diego Luna, Bernal founded Canana Films, one of Latin America's most influential production companies, and the Ambulante Documentary Film Festival, which travels throughout Mexico once a year to bring documentary films to locations where they are rarely shown to foster cultural exchange. Bernal's vision of a cinematic culture that serves to inform and empower all Latin Americans is reinforced by his passion for telling stories of the Latino experience and creating a world where Latin American stereotypes and cliches are challenged. For Bernal, the importance of developing a sophisticated and diverse discourse amongst Latinos is essential to their continued success. Creating a cultural identity that crosses all borders and unites Latin Americans across the globe. To present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Vision Award, please welcome acclaimed writer and author of The True American, Anand Girdardis, and star of USA's Queen of the South, Veronica Falcón. When you watch Gael on screen, you see an artist in tune with his humanity and his purpose. He holds nothing back. Whether he is conducting an orchestra or leading a revolution, his fierce, loving intensity grips you. No matter which audience he encounters, from television to documentary films to animated features like Disney's Pixar's upcoming Phil Coco, Gael has the heart and the conscience to choose projects that enrich the Latino experience and spark dialogue, meaningful dialogue, about the importance of diversity in this entertainment industry. We cannot wait to see where his vision will take us. It is our great privilege to present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Vision Award to Gael Garcia Bernal. I want to talk on behalf of everybody in Mexico, really, to you guys, is that no matter where you're from, no matter why your parents came here to the United States or your grandparents or your great-grandparents came to the United States, or why you came to the United States, it doesn't matter. We, as Mexicans, we have to offer you the possibility to feel that Mexico is your home as well. And, and, this, is, and this is something that has, to be, that has to be built on a forward wheel plan. You know, it is not just as easy as an open invitation. No, 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 it is, it, you, you have to feel good you have to feel safe, like we all have to feel wherever we live. The ancients used to say that wherever you feel good, that is your home. Well, I, I promise you that, that my, my, my intention is to make you feel good in Mexico, back where your parents, your great-grandparents, or your great-great-great-great-great-grandparents <laughs> were from and that you also consider that a home if you want to come visit, if you want to come live there. We need you. We need you more than ever. Thank you. This year, for the first time, we recognize an entire community representing 1.3 million undocumented youth, including 800,000 DACA students who call the United States their home. 
to present the Hispanic Heritage Inspira Award to the Dreamers. Please welcome past Hispanic Heritage Award recipient for leadership, Dolores Huerta, and the president of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, Jose Antonio Tijerino. We are proud to present the Inspire Award to the Dreamers <laughs> for their collective strength, their impact, their leadership, and the promise they offer, not just to our community, but to the United States of America. <laughs> They represent the very spirit of perseverance in Ghana's that I hope my own children will possess as they remain poised to make a positive impact on our country through the workforce, community service, and the economy despite the challenges they face every single day. Dreamers are scholastically prepared. They're bilingual, and yes, they speak English. <laughs> And uh, they are projected to represent more than a quarter of a trillion dollars of economic growth over the next decade and over two billion dollars in taxes. <laughs> they are every bit of American as all of us in the audience today. And tonight, we want to honor all of the inspiring dreamers all across our country. Accepting the Inspira Award on behalf of more than a million dreamers, are Belen Marquina Barrientos and Jonathan Jays Green. Please welcome to the stage the 2017 Inspira Award recipients. The, the Dreamers! Dreamers. Tony and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for your support of our Latinx community and undocumented young people in particular. Our undocumented community comes from across the world. We're Latinx, Asian, Arab, Black. We're trans, we're queer, we're straight. And with or without DACA, we will fight to survive in this country we call home. Let's also remind others that we contribute greatly to the cultural and economic growth of this country. And finally, let us all be activists by calling our elected officials and mobilizing the community, but especially by reaching out across the aisle and sharing our stories. Thank you. The Latin Recording Academy and its cultural foundation have been at the forefront of helping hundreds of talented Latin musicians from around the world to harness their creativity and pursue their dreams. In addition, the Academy recognizes new talent each year during the Latin Grammys, which awards upcoming talent with one of the industry's highest recognitions. In honor of the Latin Academy's work to motivate young artists and foster new talent, please welcome Latin Grammy winner for Best New Artist and Hispanic Heritage Awards favorite, Gabby Moreno.
The next award was especially created for this year's 30th anniversary, the Trailblazer Award. At the age of 20, our first honoree recorded his first album in a series of chart-topping hits that took Latin America and the world by storm. This year, Latin America's pop sensation climbed new heights when he released the Song of the Year. Let's take a look at one incredible trailblazer who taught all of us a new word to say the word. Despacito. As one of Latin America's most prominent recording artists, Luis Fonzi is a pioneer at the forefront of Latin music's emergence into the international pop music world. Born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Fonzi spent his childhood immersed in music leading him to a full scholarship to attend Florida State University, majoring in vocal performance. With years of institutional learning, Fonsi began recording demo tapes of his own music in Miami. By 1998, Fonsi recorded his debut album, Comenzare, and began a career that led him straight to the top of the Latin charts. As he continued to succeed on an international stage, Fonsi kept a foot in the door of American popular culture teaming up with artists like Britney Spears, Baby Spice, and Christina Aguilera. And by 2008, Fonzi made his first appearance on the Billboard Hot 100 with his single No Me Doy Por Vencido. Through his career, Fonzi has earned four Latin Grammy nominations and won a Song of the Year Latin Grammy for his single Aquí Estoy Yo. But it was his international pop single, Despacito, that crowned Fonzi as one of the world's most successful artists of the decade. The song, co-written with reggaeton star and fellow Puerto Rican native Daddy Yankee, topped the charts of 89 countries and is one of the longest running number one singles in Billboard chart history. Today, the song's music video holds the record for the most viewed video on YouTube with over 3.5 billion views. 
The video alone, set in multiple locations in Puerto Rico's historic Old San Juan, has sparked a renewed tourist interest in the island, solidifying Fonzie's incredible impact on Puerto Rican culture. The crowning achievement of Despacito marks the beginning of a new Latin music era, led by an international pop sensation who maintains a deep devotion to his music, his fans, and most importantly, his people. To present the, 2000, the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Trailblazer Award, please welcome IHAR Latinos Chairman and Chief Creative Officer, National Radio Host Enrique Santos, and from Locos por Juana, Itahuel Correa. Buenas noches, good evening. <laughs> Though he has uh, captivated the world with incredible, incredible pop singles from almost two decades, for almost two decades. Luisito Fonsi is a leader in the entertainment industry's impact on the continued sustainability of charitable organizations. Since the start of his singing and songwriting career, Luis Fonsi has partnered with the San Jude Children Research Hospital, becoming the Thanksgiving campaign ambassador. And he's spending countless hours supporting speaking with children battling life-training diseases. This outstanding musician and philanthropist teaches all to use not only our individual, but collective success to make this world a better place. It is our honor to present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Trailblazer Award to Luis Fonsi. SOS. Good evening. Thank you, guys. Wow. This is special. Boricua! <laughs> I want to dedicate this award to my biggest inspiration, mi orgullo, and the most beautiful place in the world, Puerto Rico. Just like Texas, just like the Caribbean islands, just like Florida, places in Puerto Rico like Culebra, Loiza, and so many others have been deeply affected by the hurricanes, and they desperately need our help. I take this opportunity to kindly ask you guys to donate and help those in need. It is our duty. I'll wrap this up. Thank you guys so much. Muchísimas gracias a todos. Que vivan los latinos. Y unidos, unidos, somos más fuertes que nunca. Thank you guys so much. This means a lot. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and Chairman of the Libre Institute, Daniel Garza. It is an honor for me to commemorate an individual who was truly one of America's eminent leaders especially here at the Hispanic Heritage Awards. President Reagan was a man of resolute will and practical intelligence. He brought to Washington a renewed spirit, a vision of America being a shining city on a hill. 30 years ago, he spoke directly to the Latino community and reached out to a vibrant constituency making a profound impact on our nation. Tonight, as we celebrate the 30th year of the Hispanic Heritage Awards, let's take a moment to reflect on the remarkable impact of one extraordinary American icon. In your lives, you demonstrate the importance of real work, producing things of real value, building communities of shared values that enrich America and keep us strong and free. You work long and hard to own your homes, your farms, and business enterprises. Your piece of America. During his tenure as our nation's 40th president, Ronald Reagan recognized the importance of a vibrant and healthy Latino community. Through his belief in limited government and admiration of the Hispanic community's focus on faith, family, work ethic, and the quest for the American dream, President Reagan wanted America to celebrate the contributions of Latinos in our great nation. During President Reagan's time in office, the Hispanic population grew by a third, 
as Latinos came to America seeking opportunity and a better life for their families. The nation's influx in Hispanic immigration was due in part to the Reagan administration's tremendous demonstration of courage when they, along with members of Congress, passed a historic bill that gave a pathway to citizenship for millions of hard-working immigrants, a large majority of whom were Latino. But perhaps his most important legacy dedicated to the Latino community was his initiation of Hispanic Heritage Month in 1988. Beginning on the 15th of September and lasting until the 15th of October each year, Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates the invaluable impact of generations of Hispanic Americans who have made a positive influence on American society. Along with the establishment of Hispanic Heritage Month, the Hispanic Heritage Awards were created as a platform to showcase the tremendous value the Latino community has made on the nation. By dedicating a month of recognition and celebration, President Reagan solidified the Hispanic community's footprint in America's path to greatness. He ensured that millions of Americans around the country valued the contributions of a community filled with tremendous skill, audacious spirit, and a profound appreciation for the laws and values instilled upon us all by our nation's founding fathers. Nearly three decades later, President Reagan's dream of a vibrant Hispanic community lives in the indelible legacy of millions of dedicated Hispanics from across the country and in all Americans, from countless cultures and ethnicities who enrich our nation, ringing true to the American creed, out of many, one. Our next honoree has risen to the highest ranks of leadership in one of the world's most established businesses so that he may effectively impact the economic prosperity of the indispensable Latino business community. Let's take a look at the commendable actions of one outstanding Hispanic American. spoken advocate for the social, political, and economic success of the Hispanic community, Rudy Becerra has earned the honorable distinction of being one of the nation's leading ambassadors for Latino empowerment. Becerra gained national prominence when he served as special assistant to President Ronald Reagan on Latino and small business affairs. With his devotion to recognizing the important contributions of Hispanics in America, Becerra was an active voice in the creation of Hispanic Heritage Month and was instrumental in the creation of the Hispanic Heritage Awards. Soon thereafter, Becerra turned his career to the private sector when he joined the leadership team of the Coca-Cola Company. As senior vice president of Latin Affairs, Becerra bridged the gap between Coca-Cola and Latino small businesses and organizations around the globe. In addition to his work at Coca-Cola, Becerra is an active member of numerous Latino-focused organizations that aim to celebrate, invest, and strengthen the Latino community. For his work in Hispanic nonprofit organizations, Becerra has received countless honorable recognitions, including awards from the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the League of Latin American Citizens, and the National Football League. For decades, Becerra has fought for the recognition and respect of all Hispanics, ensuring that Latinos take their rightful seat at the table, from the boardroom to the White House. To present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Leadership Award, please welcome social media star and businesswoman Jackie Hernandez and internationally recognized culinary innovator, author, educator, and television personality, Jose Andres. Him, Rudy Becerra always leads with Hispanics at the heart of his actions. It takes underlying faith in your community and ownership of your identity to advocate as strongly as Rudy does for the betterment of all Hispanics. Rudy prides himself in his membership to dozens of Latin-based organizations. He shares his expansive knowledge of commerce and economic policy 
to create strategic plans for success, laying the groundwork for sustaining and functioning organizations. If all of us emulate Rudy's sense of leadership, the heights of our collective success would be limitless. It is our honor to present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage Leadership Award to Rudy Becerra. I'm blessed to work for a company that truly respects diversity and inclusion. The Coca-Cola company last week came out in full unequivocal support for our dreamers. The dreamers are the people I think are the true heroes in our society. Tonight, I dedicate my award to the dreamers. They're Their strength, tenacity, and optimism inspires us, rallies us to advocate for a clear path to citizenship that these great individuals deserve. Recognized for their remarkable infusions of Latin music styles, please welcome Grammy-nominated music group Locos por Juana. Everybody sit down. launched the careers of dozens of daring individuals ready to compete at lightning fast speeds. Our next honoree has raced just as fast through the ranks of NASCAR's engineering teams and continues to inspire others to follow in her path. 
Let's take a look at the audacious spirit of one extraordinary woman. As a top-ranked engineer in the competitive and popular sport of NASCAR, Alba Colon is a trailblazer in the industry for Hispanics, women, and engineers alike. Born in Salamanca, Spain, and raised in Mayagüez, Puerto Rico as the daughter of a physician and a school teacher, Colon cites her success in the strong support system her parents provided. She shared a passion for mathematics and science with her father, who taught her their inherent beauty, from the simplest of equations to Einstein's most complex theories. For years, Colon believed she was destined to become an astronaut, often seeking to continue the legacy of Sally Ride and become the first Latina astronaut to go to space. But it wasn't until she was invited by the Society of Automotive Engineers to build a race car that she grew a passion for the automotive industry. Three years later, Colon was offered a position at General Motors, applying her engineering expertise to numerous racing programs until she rose to the position of program manager for the Chevrolet racing team for NASCAR. Since then, Cologne has served as lead engineer for racers like Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Danica Patrick, and Dale Earnhardt Jr., and has earned respect from all members of a male-dominated industry. Speaking at Hispanic Initiative events at General Motors, diversity programs hosted by NASCAR, and to hundreds of students across the country, Cologne uses her success as an example to students and parents that hard work and a strong support system are vital to the continuing advancement of Americans and Hispanics in the growing technological economy. With numerous awards and honorable recognitions, Alba Colon is a leader and a mentor for all Hispanics willing to defy the status quo and race to the finish line. To present the 2017 STEM Award, please welcome WWE superstar Calisto. I'm from Orange is the New Black, and coming out this fall, the long road home, Karina Ortiz. The worlds of WWE and NASCAR attract millions of Latinos each year to venues and television sets across the nation. I know firsthand that the impact that the Latino community has on American sporting institutions, and it's people like Alba Colon, working at the forefront of NASCAR, who has helped open doors for Hispanics and women alike to succeed in a field that is both challenging and exhilarating. Her insistence on helping Hispanic youth defines Alba as more than just a brilliant mind, but an outstanding member of our community. She ensures that dozens, if not hundreds, of lives are impacted by her success and inspires all of us to reach beyond ourselves and land a hand in someone else's future. Though her work is far from over, her legacy promises to be celebrated for decades to come. We are more than honored to present the 2017 Hispanic Heritage STEM Award to Alba Colon. It is my hope that through my work, I can continue to serve as an example and leader for young women and Hispanics to dream big and to challenge the stereotypes surrounding jobs in the STEM career fields. In closing, thank you. In closing, I want to echo once again how special this amazing honor is to me. I'm very, very proud of my heritage and amazingly proud of the country that I come from, Puerto Rico. <laughs> and I will not have wanted the journey through this life to be in any other way. By working together and celebrating the beauty of our heritage and who we are, believe me when I say we can change the world.
Many congratulations to all the honorees this evening, members of a vibrant and passionate community who continue to invigorate our culture and lead the way for countless Hispanics to succeed. As we approach the end of our evening, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge Maestro Luke Frazier and the Outstanding American Pops Orchestra. On behalf of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and all of us here tonight, we thank you for joining us for this incredible celebration. And now, please, welcome back Latin Grammy Award winner. And this year's Trailblazer honoree, Luis Fonti! Yeah, I want you guys to get up and your chair. Come on, let's go! Estaba llamándome, muéstrame el camino que yo voy. Oh, tú, tú eres el imán y yo soy el metal. Me voy acercando y voy armando el plan. Solo con pensarlo se acelera el pulso. Oh, ya, ya me está gustando más de lo normal. Todos mis sentidos van pidiendo más. Esto hay que tomarlo sin ningún apuro. Despacito, quiero respirar tu cuello despacito. Deja que te diga cosas al oído para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo. Allá arriba. Despacito, quiero desnudarte a besos despacito. Firmar las paredes de tu laberinto y hacer de tu cuerpo todo un manuscrito. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito Yo pago pegando poquito a poquito Y que esa belleza es un rompecabezas Pero pa' montarlo aquí tengo la pieza Oye, y despacito Despacito, deja que te diga cosas al oído Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo Despacito, quiero desnudarte a veces despacito Firma las paredes de tu laberinto de tu cuerpo todo un manuscrito Quiero ver bailar tu pelo Quiero hacer tu ritmo Que enseñes a mi boca Tus lugares favoritos Déjame sobrepasar Tus ondas de peligro Hasta provocar tus gritos Y que olvides tu apellido Despacito This is how we do it down in Puerto Rico I can't wait to hear you screaming, I'm bendito Not gonna be forever when I stay contigo Come on! Pasito a pasito Quiero enseñarse a mi boca Tus lugares favoritos Hasta provocar tus gritos Y que olvides tu apellido Despacito Thank you very much!
This program is made possible in part by Target, proud to bring you the 30th Hispanic Heritage Awards, a National Hispanic Heritage Month celebration.